I always have everything trimmed in the chamber. You got two settings so that you can go slow? Go to Expo. So you have on. Each way down. And then the elevator was fine. It was just ailerons. The ailerons. Just like... So you calm down your ailerons? Yeah. Who's ready to fly? Yeah! You good? <laughs> All right, we're out here in the park with uh, Nick and his F-15 Eagle. And uh, he wanted to go insane with this thing. So you, he's got, careful with your throttle there. He's got the, uh, he's got the big old Turner G2836 on there. Uh, running a six by four prop, three cell, 40 seat discharge. He's doing his two ailerons with his elevator. Um, should be a wild ride, because Nick's pretty good. You ready? Yep. Okay. Holy cow. You alright? Oh, you scared me there. Huh? My ailerons are so bad. Right trim? Here, just bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> it's you like rolling able, itself. You should be able to, you should be able to just, uh, there you go. Wants to kick back. There you go. The moon's sweet in the background. Oh! Awesome. We got that on video. <laughs> How did it float down perfect like that? Did you just torque it that much? What? what? My prop must, my prop hit this. No. What? No. Where'd your motor and stuff go? Or where's your battery? Where'd the ESE go? <laughs> Holy crap. Um, that was crazy. So this, it, I think what we, we came up was, was um, you were putting so much onto it and flapping that thing around that it just ripped off the foam board. Yeah. Um, and so we, this thing was about a 50 yards that way. And the receiver was 50 yards that way. And your plane was, because I was wondering why your plane flew all down all nice and soft. Yeah. The helicopter, There's like, nothing in it. There's nothing in it. Well, that was cool. What are you going to do next, man? Put this thing back together and go up, back up and fly it again? I'd sure like to.
In the trash. All right, so that was a lot better. So why don't yeah. you why don't you tell the viewers what you had to do to your battery? Um, so I uh, last time the battery flew out. You can see the battery through the bottom there. Flew out, ripped everything out. ESC. We found the ESC. I don't know, 200 feet away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Um, and then so I put these wooden. I think they're bo uh, barbecue skewers. Yeah, barbecue skewers. I just glued them on and then put a Velcro strap on. Cool. It doesn't look nice, but the battery isn't going anywhere. Right. So well, you fly a lot inverted, and you pull it pretty hard. Yeah. So. When you pull an outside loop, the G-force is pushing the battery um, out this direction, so the Velcro physically can't hold it. Right. And it wasn't actually the Velcro that failed; it was the paper that the Velcro was glued to. Nice. So well, it seems like you got yourself a new friend. So very cool. Awesome. Well, good job, uh, Nick, with your eagle and. Um, We'll hopefully try to get Nick next semester to get on some CAD work and design your own planes so mm -hmm. that you can, um, you know, now that you've flown these, you kind of have an idea of both what the F-35 does, what this one does, and what the Hornet does. Yeah. You can now kind of build your plane around, you know, what size control surfaces and maybe even throwing some rudders to do some knife edges and mm -hmm. maybe scaling up a little bit so you can put some more stuff on it. Yeah. Um, it would be kind of cool. So stay tuned for Nick to do uh, some cool things. Thank <laughs> you. 